Warning, this video contains foul language and crude humor and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here today to highlight a new toy hunt that I went on today after work. So I was going by Target to pick up Land Shark because I saw it online that it was a, a local store, so I went and it was there. But then there was this, and I can't believe I found this. I haven't seen this thing anywhere, nowhere. I think I saw a preview of this cat at some point because I, re for some reason, I remember them pointing out that it had shiny armor compared to dull armor on the other one. So, I picked this up at Target. Um, it was $50. Their cost plus tax. Um, so, on the secondary market, this thing's going to be 70 and up, going on up, depending on the rarity. I don't know if this is a Target exclusive, but uh, if you guys are into this, you might want to be on the lookout, but I think it's it's pretty fucking sweet. So you get the battle armor He-Man. Well, let's start at the beginning. So, Masters of the Universe, Battlefield Warriors, Powerful Protectors of Eternia. Includes disp Display Stand and Castle Grayskull gar Gargoyles. Then you got the artwork, which is... Very sweet. Roll it up here. See the gargoyle there. And then He Man and Battle Cat. And I notice He Man's got a cut on his leg and on his arm right there. And then I'll show you on the toy where it's got cuts. And then Battle Cat's got battle armor cuts. Not really battle armor, but you guys know what I mean. So if you look at the toy, then there's your cuts, which is some people would be pissed because it's like, I don't need another fucking battle cat, but some people will do this instead of the other battle cat because you get the whole shebang. But then you get the shiny armor, He-Man. I want to apologize if it's a little shaky, it's I broke my stupid camera holder for my phone and unfortunately I'm doing this with my hands so I apologize so you get the uh, an additional head you get a power sword hand battle axe shield two gargoyles come on focus in there there you go you can see those guys have pretty detailed eyes. And then you get this stand, which I measured the box. The box is 20 inches wide, so this thing is like 19, maybe 18 and a half. So it looks like the same colors and it's got the same dots as Castle Gray Skull. And then it goes along, and it's all one piece from what I can tell, because it's just, that's a tie down. And then it goes all the way back to there, which, no, that's not, that's not Battle Cat Poo, but those are the fake rocks. But then I noticed, let me see if I can get a good shot, there we go. See those notches, and then it squares? I think this plugs into something else, guys. I mean, I could be wrong. But... It might be two pieces. And I just don't see the, the seam. Actually, I think now I do see the seam. It's right there by his foot. Because it goes... How the hell did I see that? 
yeah, I think it's two pieces because look in the back, there's another piece to plug in over there. So, but definitely cool. I'm glad I found it. Um, let's look at the back. Now there's another thing, guys, that when I found this, unfortunately the box was damaged, but another dude that was standing there grabbed the, the other one, so I was kind of stuck with this one. But you can see, got damage down there. I don't know what that is. It might be coffee, something. But, what do you call it? It's on the back. <clears throat> so, this kind of is what it is. Wasn't sure if I was going to get another chance of getting one of these, so I wasn't going to... I wasn't going to take the chance. Thing, these things are kind of hard right now, as you guys know, if you've been looking for Masters of the Universe stuff. But there's the there's the back card. There we go. And you got the the next wave. I believe that's wave six. With the Lords of Power, Beast Man. Then you got Web Store, Stinkor. And then the Eternia, Eternian Goddess, the Green Tila, basically. And then, of course, the Wind Raider and Castle Grayskull. But there's the picture of their thing, so it might be two pieces that snap together. It, yeah, I'm thinking that, guys. And then uh, the Gargoyles can hang out on the castle and of course the famous spring-loaded armor battle armor and then the back card which is really cool the only thing that kind of is a shitty reminder is that is most of us are not, never going to get that. And you guys know what I'm talking about. But, so, I'm hoping there's Battle Armor Skeletor there on Panthor. Hopefully, they might do a, a version like this, but with Panthor and Skeletor. And then you got Too Bad. And then I'm not sure who this is. Um... But I've seen him somewhere on another package. I just can't remember which one. And then who's that back there? Oh, this is this frog guy that's on the side of the package that I don't know who he is either. But then you got Battle Armor, He-Man, Man-at-Arms, and then this girl who I don't know who she is. If you know who she is, leave me a leave me a note in the comments. <clears throat> but individually, they are a force to be reckoned with. But together in combat, He-Man and Battle Cat are unstoppable. So I haven't made up my mind yet if I'm going to open this or not. Um, we'll see. If I open it, I'll make a video of what it looks like outside the package, but I like it so much that I might just leave them in there. So if you guys uh, like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and until I see you on the next one, thanks.